Hello children, welcome back to safety and first aid. Today we will be looking at the next topic, first aid. What is first aid? Sometimes small and big accidents can take place inside or outside our houses. In such situation, the injured person should be treated immediately. In other words, when someone is hurt or injured, we can do something to help him before the doctor arrives. And these steps are called first aid. We should have a first aid box both in our house and in our school for emergency use. The first aid box should contain cotton, antiseptic lotion, scissors, band-aids, antiseptic cream, sterilized bandage, etc. Different types of first aid are given in different situations and for different injuries. Let us take a look at some of the first aid methods for different injuries. First aid treatment Harry wants to have some milk, so he goes into the kitchen. But his hand gets burnt as the pot of milk is hot. Mother tells him to hold his hand under tap water and applies antiseptic ointment on it. She tells him that this is a minor burn, so we have applied ointment on it. But in case of severe burns, we should not apply any cream or ointment. Sometimes burns cause blisters on skin. They should not be broken. Instead, the area should be covered with a sterile gauze and a loose bandage. Whenever a person's clothes catch fire, one should not run. Instead, one should lie on the floor and roll to put off the fire. If someone is there to help, he should throw a blanket on the person who has caught fire. This will cut off the air supply and thus Help in putting out the fire. Then, the victim should be immediately taken to a doctor. Now, Harry understands how to help a person in case of burns. Next morning, Harry comes to know that his friend is admitted to a hospital as he had accidentally swallowed some poison. Father tells Harry that, in such a case, before going to a doctor, we can give some first aid treatment to the victim. First of all, try to identify the poison. Give the victim a lot of water to drink, which will dilute the poison. Keep the victim turned towards his left side till medical help arrives. This position will slow down the passing of poison into the small intestine. <coughs> However, if poisoning is due to inhalation of a toxic gas, then safely rescue the person and take him into fresh air immediately. Then take the person to a doctor as soon as possible. After learning about various first aid tips, Harry remembers about the first aid box which he had once seen with his father. So he wants to know how to make a first aid box? To make a first aid box, take a clean, medium sized plastic box. Keep antiseptic lotion, ointment, band aids, bandages, calamine lotion, sterile cotton and gauze, adhesive tape, scissors, tweezers, thermometer, etc. in it. Thus, Harry understands about many first aid measures as well as about the first aid kit. He decides to make a first aid box for his school. Harry tells his father that he wants to know how to treat people using first aid. Therefore, his father starts explaining to him about first aid treatment. For instance, if an animal like a dog or a cat bites someone, the wound should be allowed to bleed for some time 
so that the germs will flow away with the blood. Then the wound should be cleaned with soap and water. Some antiseptic lotion must be applied on the wound and the area should be covered with a bandage. In case of a dog bite, we should check whether the dog is vaccinated against rabies or not. If not, the person must be given anti-rabies vaccine. Father then tells Harry that if a bee, wasp or hornet stings someone, then the area should be first washed with soap and water. The sting should be removed and then the sting site should again be washed with water. An ice pack should be applied to relieve pain and swelling. As an alternative, we can also apply a paste of baking soda and water on the sting site. Father then tells that in addition to bites and stings, we can also give some immediate help for fracture and sprain. Here, Harry remembers that in school, one of his friends fell down while playing and his hand got fractured. The teacher told him not to move his hand and with the help of a splint, she gave support to his hand. Then he was taken to a doctor. Father tells Harry that this is a kind of first aid treatment that can be applied in case of a fracture, that is, breaking of bone or a sprain, that is, an injury to muscles like wrist, ankle, etc. But care should be taken that the area is not rubbed as that can lead to more injury. When a minor cut or wound causes bleeding, you must first wash the cut or wound with clean water. Take a cotton and wipe it gently, uh, then press the cotton on the wound to stop bleeding. After this, apply an antiseptic cream and cover it with bandage. If the wound is deep, you should go to the doctor immediately. For sprains or bone injuries, Apply a cold compress or an ice pack to the injured area. Now let us read our textbook. All of you take your textbook. Open page number 187. First I will read, then read with me. Okay. First aid. Sometimes accidents occur despite being careful. We need to provide help to the injured person. The first help given to an injured person is called first aid. I will read once more. Sometimes accidents occur despite being careful. We need to provide help to the injured person. The first help given to an injured person is called first aid. Now read with me. Okay. First aid. Sometimes accidents occur despite being careful. We need to provide help to the injured person. The first help Given to an injured person is called first aid. Okay. Now take page number 188. Let us recall all the things we have learned in the previous classes. Look at the textbook. You can see there a flow chart. I will read it first, listen carefully, then read with me. Okay. Let us record. Follow safety rules. Follow safety rules. At home, don't leave your books and toys on the floor. Don't play with knives, sharp objects or matchstick. 
Don't lean on a balcony railing. Once again, safety rules at home. Don't leave your books and toys on the floor. Don't play with knives, sharp objects or matchsticks. Don't lean on a balcony railing. Next, on the road. Safety rules on the road. Don't play on the road. Always walk on the footpath. Use the zebra crossing, overbridge and subways. Be careful while crossing the road and at railway crossings. Once again, don't play on the road. Always walk on the footpath. Use the zebra crossing, overbridge and subways. Be careful while crossing the road and at railway crossings. Next, while boarding a bus. Stand in a queue. Don't try to get into or off a moving bus. Don't lean out or put your hands out of the bus window. Once again, stand in a queue. Don't try to get into or off a moving bus. Don't lean out or put your hands out of the bus window. Next, on the playground or park. Don't stand close to a swing. Wait for your turn to play. Play fair. Don't touch or eat unknown plants, flowers and fruits. Once again, on the playground or park. Okay. Don't stand close to a swing. Wait for your turn to play. Play fair. Don't touch or eat unknown plants, flowers and fruits. Next, near water bodies. Don't go near water tanks or wells. Always go with an adult for a swim. Once again, don't go near water tanks or wells. Always go with an adult for a swim. Now we can move to the exercises. All of you take your pencil. Good. Let us start. Exercise A. Fill in the blanks. First one, we must cross the road at the zebra crossing. We should stand in a queue at the bus stop. We must always play a fair game. We must not play on the road. We should always Walk on the footpath. Now, exercise B. Answer the following questions. The first one. Write one safety rule to be followed while boarding a bus. The answer is. We must stand in a queue at the bus stop. While waiting for a bus. And. While boarding it. Okay. Second question. Why should we not touch electric wires and switches with wet hands? We should not touch electric wires and switches with wet hands. As we may get an electric shock. The third question. Why should we walk on the right side of the road? Answer is, we should walk on the right side of the road. This will help to see the vehicles that are coming from the front. Now, exercise C. Why are the actions shown in the pictures unsafe? First one. 
it is unsafe to lean over a balcony railing as we may slip and fall down in the second picture it is unsafe to handle electrical items without help from your parents as we may get an electric shock third it is unsafe to play near a water body as we may drown in it fourth one it is unsafe to throw a banana skin on the road as someone may slip and fall on it sixth one it is unsafe to push anyone as the person may get hurt seventh one it is unsafe to light the fire crackers in the room as the things may catch fire as the things may catch fire now take page number 190 page number 190 life skills what will happen if people do not follow safety rules on the road this will result in accidents this will result in accidents next values for life do you do this right yes or no first one i leave my toys and books on the floor no i wait for my turn to use the sink seesaw and slide yes i always go for a swim with an adult yes i push and fight with other children to get in front of the bus queue no I never play on the I never play on the road. Yes. Next hurts. If your friend cuts his or her finger while playing, what first aid can you give? Tell me. Wash the wound with clean water. Apply some antiseptic cream on the wound. put a bandaid on it okay now let us work out the worksheet number 2 a name the following a large house with a lawn bengla a house in a multi story building flat a snow house igloo a house on wheels caravan a house made of canvas tent next we fill in the blanks we should not scribble on public property such as the walls of buildings scribble we should not wipe dirty hands on cloth or curtains we must brush our teeth twice a day files carry germs that can make us sick we should not speak loudly in public places next c circle the things that do not need water ball and kite now take next page d tick the objects that make the air dirty car and factory okay e write t for the true statement and f for the false statements air occupies space t we should not lean on a balcony railing t we should stand close to a sink 
F. We should wait for the train to pass at a railway crossing. T. Clean air smells like fruits and flowers. Clean air smells like fruits and flowers. F. Smoke makes the air impure. T. Okay. So today's class ends here. Hope you all have enjoyed the class. Thank you children.